Yes, people, welcome to Kugali Spotlight, where we look at some of your favorite creators from across Africa and beyond. I am Ziki Nelson, a member of the Kugali team, and today we will be looking at Midas Monkey, a US-based independent media company founded by writer and artist Paul-Louis Julie, best known for creating the Pack comic, a number one Kindle bestseller. Set in Egypt, the story follows a group of renegade Egyptian werewolves led by brothers Kenti and Niket as they face off against the villainous pharaoh Akhenaten. This Egyptian saga is going to be the first of many stories set in the world of Aya, a mythological universe that Paul has spent the best part of a decade building. The pack forms the backbone of Midas Monkey's 2016 production schedule, however we will also be seeing the first installment of Johanse, a sci-fi space opera based on African culture and aesthetic. The coolest thing about Johanse is how it takes the traditional African aesthetic and asks, what would these designs and concepts look like 1000 years into the future? And all of this will conclude with a Kickstarter campaign where Paul intends to fund the printing of the pack, currently only available in digital. Personally, I'm really looking forward to this because the pack is visually stunning and I can't wait to have a physical copy of some of these illustrations. But the fun does not stop here. Kicking things off for 2017 will be Vore, a novel that looks at the story of a young West African prince thrust into slavery by a biomechanical race known as the Vores. This story is very much an allegory for the transatlantic slave trade, but reimagined through the lens of fantasy and science fiction. And speaking of sci-fi, this will be followed up by the next installment of the Johanse narrative, picking up from where we left off after the Ikageni Crystal. Now, going from one extreme to the other, Midas Monkey will be releasing their first set of children's books, all inspired by Black Southern American culture and also Creole culture as well. And these guys are adorable, so I can't wait. Now, I know Paul personally, and he thinks of all of his creations like they were his own children, so he tries not to play favorites. But he's really excited about these next two titles, Kush, a graphic novel about the founder of the Nubian Empire and human dragon slayer, and Candice, the story of one of Kush's descendants and her quest to claim her rightful place as queen of Nubia. Finally, we have the Book of Aya. And even Paul himself has admitted that this will be the most important title for 2017, as it details the entire mythology behind this fantastical universe that he's been building over the last decade. I really don't think that there is a modern equivalent to the Book of Aya. An epic tale with angels, demons, sentinels, set almost entirely on the continent of Africa. Paul is going to need our help every bit of the way. So the first thing you can do is go and pick up a copy of the pack, which is now available on Kindle, iBooks, and Comixology. I can't recommend it highly enough, it is visually stunning. Secondly, tell a friend, share this video and let people know that this is happening. Finally, if you like what you've seen today and you want more of this, then make sure you subscribe to our channel. And sign up to our mailing list to receive exclusive news, reviews, and sneak peeks. Let us support Black Mythology.